This is the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter pot. And this is arguably the most popular pot amongst hikers out there. But it does have one fatal flaw. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a real quick video. Like I mentioned before, this is arguably one of the most popular pots through for through hikers people trying to save weight uh, out there hiking there is one flaw with this that i found and it's these handles get extremely hot when you're cooking with them so i have one really easy solution to that and that's just to put some silicone tubing on the handles now go to the video description down below you'll see description hit the little arrow pop it open you'll see a link to my amazon store once you're in the amazon store click on the appalachian trail and there you'll find the link for this uh blue tubing uh, i don't recall the size but all the specs are right there you can't go wrong it's right there for you uh, it's funny when i bought this i don't remember it saying it was actually for a uh, hobby like rc cars for fuel but it does say it's a gas line but don't worry um you know you're not drinking out of it, you're not eating it's just tubing now think about it like you have an rc plane that has a gas engine they get hot and this is feeding gas into the carburetor so it's designed to withstand the heat and i've already done several trips with this pot uh since putting the tubing on and i've only um right there i burned a little bit so um when you do have this thing on your stove, make sure the handles are kind of pulled back a little bit so that the flames, when the flames do go up above, that they're they're going around the other parts and not right here. But I mean, it's only that one little part and you can see this piece dips down a little bit further. But other than that, this has made a tremendous difference. I, I mean, I can literally boil water, pick this thing up and it's good to go. I don't burn my hands. So this is really, really easy to do this uh the handle spring load what i recommend doing is like push it down as much as it can go and just pull this now i'm not going to do it because i don't want to keep bending my handle but pull this it'll come out of here and then once that's there just pull that up and then what i did is i just took a little wd-40 sprayed it into the tube and then use some needle nose pliers to give me some grip and i just i fed it i started up here worked my way down because this is the hardest part this is where you're going to struggle the most is once you got a couple of these bends in here so i just put a little wd-40 in there put it in there and then when you go to put the handle back on uh, before you insert it squeeze it squeeze it really good bend it together because when you open it up it's going to kind of loosen it somewhat so before you put it back in kind of push it push the two ends past each other a little bit so that way when you uh stretch this thing back out to insert it it'll retain uh its shape and it, it won't fall out and all that but on that it's, it's really really easy thing to do and this makes a big difference in working with this cup so there you have it, like I said, short and sweet. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Said so the uh, link to this, it's just a silicone tubing, is in my Amazon store. So, hope that helps because, like I said, I know it's a really popular pot, and I see people buying uh, like little hand mitts and other things like that for these. So, this is a really simple solution. If you look at jet, like the jet boils already have something like this installed on the handle. So. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you subscribe. I'm going to attempt to through hike the Appalachian Trail here in 2023. So I hope uh, you'll join us. And then like here we got the motorhome. We're going to travel the country and around the world full time when uh, we get done with all that. So our plans for traveling and all that. And no end in sight anytime soon. So I hope you'll subscribe and follow us along. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. And I hope to see you on the next one.